Turning now to your community focus, is Rhode Island heading for a recession? We're going one on one with a local economist who thinks the answer is yes. That's right. Joining us now live via Zoom is URI economics professor Len Lardero. Thanks for being here with us. OK, so I think we're having a little issue with your audio, but hopefully by the time I finish asking this question, we can hear you OK. So get us up to speed first. When you zoom out and look at the economy, both locally and nationally, what trends are you seeing? Well, Rhode Island has recovered most of what it lost during the pandemic, and that's critical because it gives us the base to work from. But we are, however, slowing down, and a number of indicators are really showing that. My current conditions index shows the last two or three months we've been slowing down. Uh, in Rhode Island, layoffs are beginning to rise. Uh, we're also seeing some other indicators that uh, temporary employment, uh, hiring of temps has really slowed down. So there's several things that say we're beginning to slow, not surprising given the national economy and parts of our economy housing as far as sales of homes has really gone down double digits, but there's so little new home construction here that prices keep going up. So we're heading down to a path of slower growth. Uh, it's not clear we're going to have a recession because nothing's 100 percent, but it's more likely than not that the U.S. and Rhode Island will by the uh, either middle of this year or into next year. Now, you've said that there's a better than a 50 percent chance of a recession. Why do you think that? Well, there's a lot of things going on. First of all, monetary policy has really slammed on the brakes and <clears throat> there are long lags whenever the Federal Reserve raises interest rates. Uh, six to 18 months. So we still haven't felt a lot of the lag effects of what they did in the last part of last year. Uh, inflation uh, tends to remain fairly high. Food and energy costs are going up. That hurts people's spending and their ability to get by. Uh, there's other measures as well. Fiscal policy is fading. Uh, we actually kind of lucked out with the winter because energy prices, which could have been a real obstacle, haven't exploded in Europe or here. Uh, but there is really the labor market is clearly softening in Rhode Island, and that's always a telling sign. Yeah, and staying on the topic of the labor market, we've got about 60 seconds left. You did some calculations on the state's unemployment rate. Your rate is different from what the state put out. Why? Yeah, the official unemployment rate uh, in Rhode Island is very biased by the fact that our labor force participation rate is a lot lower than it had been. So what I do each month if you were to keep participation at the level prior to the pandemic, but use the current employment rate, right now, instead of a 3.5% unemployment rate, Rhode Island's more like 5.2. I think that's a much more accurate measure. Personally, I don't pay any attention to the official measure. It's way too noisy and misleading in Rhode Island. All right, that's about all the time we have. URI's Len Lardero, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.